Okay, now that we have the first section worked out, let's see if we can figure out uh, how each of these is functioning. So, tonic, right? I'm just going to write, uh, instead of drawing all the lines across my screen here, I'm just going to write tonic. Uh, I'm just going to write a chord function underneath each chord. So, remember my options are tonic, dominant, or predominant. So it l helps to get a little bit bigger picture here. So that's tonic. This, I mean, it's a four chord, so predominant would make a lot of sense, right? Um, but it seems weird to go to predominant already. Uh, this, however, does seem like a dominant area because it's the seven, and we're leading back to one. So I'm going to continue to call this tonic. Actually, maybe I will do the lines all the way across I'm gonna call this whole area tonic just because predominant seems too fast uh, and remember this is a bit of a matter of opinion this I definitely feel like is a dominant area and then we're back to a tonic area at that one. Okay, tonic area. Uh, here's a six chord. I'm gonna call that a tonic area still. Now for this, what would we call this? This is a five seven, but it's also that two chord, that major two chord, it's transition. It's our pivot chord, right? What do we want to call that? Well, remember what we're thinking about here. We're thinking about, aside from the Roman numerals, how does this feel? Does it feel like a tonic area? Does it feel like a predominant area or what? Like what is the function of it? What is it actually doing? And when we think about that, it's heading here right? So it really feels like a dominant area. Like it's a five chord. It's yeah, in the key we're in, it's a two chord. It's a major two chord. It's weird, but it is working like a dominant chord to get us to there. So we're going to call that a um, dominant chord. Dominant functioning chord. And now we're here, we've made a key change, but this is functioning like a good old tonic chord. That is what it's doing. Cool. So there's our chord function so far. So even in a key change, these dominant tonic function areas still work, right? Because here, we're a dominant function. No matter how you slice it, you can call this two, you can call it five, seven, but um, it's working like a dominant pretty clearly. Okay, uh, let's continue going and let's do some more.